Hello, Dara. Hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to another amazing episode of On This Table, showing on King's Prime TV. I'm super excited because today's topic is one that will keep you at the edge of your seat. Okay, my name is Joy Dixon and welcome. I officially welcome you to On This Table. On This Table is the show where we'll bring you issues confronting life and the world at large. And of course, bring possible solutions to these life issues. So today we're going to be talking about parenting in the 21st century. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting, right? Of course it is. Let's go on this quick break. When I come back, the conversation will kick off. King's Prime TV is a one-stop entertainment websites and live sports, news, reality shows, and top-notch Nollywood movies. Log in to our website, www.kingsprimetv.com or download our app on any of our iOS devices or your Android phones, any one of them. Just download and you get your movies and all entertainment stuff just the way you like it. Welcome again to King's Prime TV. Welcome back. <laughs> I just I just love introducing my guests. There's this thing about them. They have they, they have this this energy they have a way of of brightening my mood so today with me in the studio is an actor she's a tv host she is a wife she is a mother she's a sister <laughs> she's everything ladies and gentlemen let's have a drum roll for happiness okay lauren <laughs> Yeah, I like that smile. It's so cute. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank welcome you to this much. show. You, you look amazing. Wow, I'm I don't know. I don't know. There's this thing about my guests. They just, they just look so sweet for me. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Okay. So we're going to be talking about parenting in the 21st century. So let's start from the beginning, beginning, beginning. Mm -hmm. What is parenting? Thank you so much for having me. Of first. course. Please, <laughs> I, I just hope your your audience will manage my voice. It's Please. okay. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> mm, I'm just struggling with it, but that's fine. All right. Okay, parenting, mm. as you can just uh, simply define, mm. in my own way, Okay. I see it as um an act of begetting, mm -hmm. giving birth, Okay. not just giving birth, Okay. nurturing, Okay. and then um, raising a child or children okay yes. giving birth nurturing yes. and raising, raising a child, a child okay children. so um, um um this is like a whole a whole lot yes. for a parent right. so of course let's talk about the challenges of parenting oh challenges of parenting mm. a lot of faith okay today mm -hmm. parenting of today yeah um you see people's um positions mm. like job designations mm -hmm. is a major parenting challenge okay. in our society today mm -hmm. then you also talk about when you talk about the children you also talk about this boarding schools yeah i see boarding schools these days as a kind of a major challenge to parenting okay yes okay i don't know Maybe we should be explaining this or... Yes, 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 know. please. How is that, how is that okay. a challenge? Okay. Now, you see that parenting of today. You know, in the formal parenting, mm. we have... It was like you had a lot of time with your parents. Okay, yes. From beginning yes. till the end. Yes, yes. Like you go to primary school, you go to secondary school, you go from home. Mm -hmm. Like in my... During my time, I only went to boarding school during my work, okay. senior work. Okay. So I went for like a while mm. to concentrate then mm. and take, not really for concentration. I went because I needed to be closer to the school. Yeah. So I won't miss my exams, yes, the timing yes. and all that. Uh -huh. But unlike today, today parenting, you see a child of 10 years or even less mm. had already gone to boarding to school. school. Why? Had already gone to boarding mm -hmm. school. You've not really given that child a foundation. Oh, okay. And foundation matters a lot. Of course, it does. In parenting mm. of a child mm -hmm. or children. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you see that the child has more 
influence with the peer groups mm -hmm. that she meets, he or she meets in school. Okay. And, you know, at 10 years or below or even 12, a mm -hmm. child is still, you know, at the position of not deciding for him or herself. herself. Okay. That period, you need your parents mm -hmm. to tell you things to do and things not to do. Of course. But now you're going to boarding school. Mm -hmm. You're going to take care of yourself alone. Mm -hmm. You're going to be living like an adult mm -hmm. that you were not mm -hmm. yet. So it's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. The child may come back with something that, in fact, you find it difficult to amend. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. So boarding school, I'm not trying to spoil anybody's business, <laughs> but I think... It is too early. It is too early. It's mm. a big challenge okay. to parenting. Okay. Then, formally, I said, before I said, your job, your position. Mm. Do you know that it may shock you that some children don't really know their fathers? That's true. Okay. <laughs> you say how? The father will go to buy 4.30 for people living outside here, like mm. places like, like Lagos. Like Lagos, yes. That you have heavy traffic. traffic. yes. 4.30, a mm -hmm. parent is up, mm -hmm. going to work, mm -hmm. getting ready, mm -hmm. and the kids are still sleeping, mm -hmm. and you already jumped off. Then the father comes back by 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Possibly 10, 11. And the kids are already back to bed, sleeping. Mm -hmm. And before morning again, you see that your job is a big challenge yes. to the parenting of a child or okay children okay. and the lot and the lot and the lord's problems then this is single motherhood yeah or single fatherhood mm, mm. is also a big challenge of parenting mm. you know this is is a division of labor of course you have the father you have the mother mm. so what it means is everyone has got their their, their, own, responsibility. their own responsibilities responsibilities yeah. towards bringing up a child mm. and when one is lacking is lagging behind so of course, what do that's, you that's, that, that's really a big challenge. You know, um, about this single parenting, I mean, this, these children, is it possible that a single parent can even, even give the same, the same amount of love, the same amount of level that would have been given if, if, if the woman had the husband or the man had the wife? Anyway, for truth, there is no way sometimes we say two heads or two good heads two are, good better heads are better than one. one. There is no way a mother will give um, 100% what a child should get. Mm, from, from the father. From the father. Mm. It's not possible. Yes. But she can only try, or he can only try, mm. as a strong man, mm. as a strong woman. Yes. Because we have strong men who have strong women. Mm. There are people who, are, who have dual responsibilities. Mm. It's inborn. Yeah. They can take care of the father's aspect they can mm. take care of the mother's mm. aspect but mm. not like it's the best okay it's not the best okay. because everybody has to play a role you know you know in some families sometimes you say the father is coming the children they are running, <laughs> they are running. They yes. are going to hide mm -hmm. they are going to open their books mm -hmm. to pretend like they're reading mm. but with their mothers it's not like that they can but, but, mommy but you is, understand. That, is that is that really okay oh is that really okay somehow mm. because being a father you have your responsibilities. Okay. And there's no way you will be like the mother. Mm. Often mothers are soft. But there are some homes that the mothers are the mm. iron ladies. <laughs> that when they are coming, the children will run away and the mm. fathers will try to mm. pamper. Mm. But like naturally, it's really the fathers that have their ways of putting, instigating fears yes, that's in the true. children. Mm. It's really the father's responsibilities. Mm. Oftentimes it's not about beating the child. Yes, yeah, not. The father might roar like this, and what are you doing? Why are you not reading your books? Mm. And the children tend to listen, to take that command, like mm. a commanding tone from the fathers, mm. more mm. than from the mothers. Okay, so um, let's, let's compare parenting between okay. now the 21st century, century and then back in the day. Which... Which, which would you say is even more effective? Which, which would you say is, is more tasking? Okay, they've they've all got their, they've all they ha all have their their advantages and disadvantages. disadvantages. Mm. Like parenting in the formal, I see it as a parenting without choice. Mm, okay, what does I that mean? I see it as a parenting without choice. For example, mm. 
a child wakes up in the morning to go to school mm -hmm. and what is in the house is fufu mm -hmm. like the Igbo is called yes. Ahu. Ahu. <laughs> the white, white, yes. uh, uh, white man that, that's mm -hmm. the way they call it that white man or something fufu that's the name and that is what is in the house and you don't, you have, don't, a you don't have a choice yes you eat it with gladness <laughs> <laughs> i rush off to school of course do you know one funny thing again as you're back from school <laughs> You eat the same fufu, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you say thank you. Mm -hmm. And your mom will lay out things to do. Make sure you fetch water. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go get me firewood mm -hmm. after eating. Mm -hmm. Remove your clothes, eat food, and go get me firewood. Or go and fetch water. Or from go the and stream. fetch water. You must do it because mm -hmm. that is what you will use to eat the next meal. Mm -hmm. But parenting of today, hmm. <laughs> you may have like I have two kids and mm -hmm. uh, one love tea so much <laughs> he likes tea a lot mm. and my daughter likes gary and soup <laughs> you may be surprised in the morning what are you eating for breakfast he said mommy i want gary and soup and the boy will say mommy i want uh, tea mm. they have choice <laughs> They, they have choices to make. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They can say, ah, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. And parenting of today, you, you must provide for them. Yes. For them to be happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You give. You can see in one single table, in one single family, mm -hmm. one person is taking a, a gari, mm -hmm. the other person is drinking tea. Mm -hmm. And when they come back, it's still the same. Mm -hmm. They still have choices to make. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to eat. This is what I don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. But then, it's not so. Mm -hmm. The parents decide what to to eat mm. but this time even now some parents are trying to say is what i have you will eat mm. but no parent actually will be happy that your child is starving because you have refused or you don't have what the child wants mm. that's apparently why all parents are struggling mm. to make sure they are working rather to make sure that their children get the best yes and eat like other children okay so but when you talk about the, about the advantages and disadvantages uh, you see, in the parenting of the old, mm. you see people begin to learn how to adapt to any situation. Of course. You begin to learn. You, 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 if you go to a place that this is the only thing you have, you survive. Yeah. But parenting of today, <laughs> you see that kids find it difficult mm. to, to adapt, yeah. to mingle. Mm. You can see a child who, who you know, eats um, omelettes, eat some shawarma Pancake. pizza and the child goes to let us him say i'm a mem um, um, uh, during nyse of mm. today you see the child finding it difficult to adjust, to adjust. adjust. That's adjust. okay so when you see some of them when they go to boarding mm. school today you see the first period when they come back they look so skinny they look like they are not eating they mm. look like a uh, a uh, 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 malnourished okay we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this to this conversation let's go on this very very quick break i'll be right back my name is bukola i'm a dedicated wife i'm blessed with two beautiful children i am the creator and the creative director of in between I stand. And the beautiful thing about the Kicks Prime TV is it's an app. I can decide to use it on my television. I can decide to use it on my phone. And of course I have an iPad. I can decide to use it on my iPad. There is no boring moment with the Kings Prime TV, especially the way it gets me close to my culture day by day. I'm a busy mom and sometimes I just want to be on my bed alone with my laptop watching the king's prime tv it is the best thing ever and i'm not connected to just one aspect of the king's prime tv i could decide to watch tv shows like the big nigerian wedding or probably go for a series lots of beautiful things on the king's prime tv in africa and beyond more and more people are finding king's prime tv a rich hub for entertainment with a monthly subscription fee as low as $7.99 US, you too can enjoy seamless, world-class HD entertainment that will inform, educate, entertain, and enthrall you. Join us today. Visit KingsPrimeTV.com to enter into a whole new dimension of entertainment. Kings Prime TV. Entertainment just the way you like it. Welcome back. So we have been talking about parenting in this 21st century. Okay, so now let's let's go back to our conversation. Now, to you, 
which would you say is better parenting back in the day or this 21st century parenting anyway <laughs> sometimes they just like i said they have the advantages and they have their disadvantages, disadvantages. Yep. but i think i prefer the parenting of the old okay i think i prefer it because it builds a child up mm. parenting of the old doesn't have a lot of house helps mm, yeah the yeah. children learn how to how to do things to themselves do things yes themselves. yeah but parenting of today you they just the, pamper their children you have a lot maids. Mm. even at age 12 a child doesn't know how to boil water white rice wow a child cannot fry egg mm. because the maid is there to do all of this mm. but back in the days at 10 years a child has started pounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Pounding crayfish, mm -hmm. pounding cocoa yam mm -hmm. for soup, mm -hmm. pounding certain things, going to the kitchen to take their meal. Mm -hmm. But today, it's no longer like that. But you, but 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 don't you think that? And I mean, parenting in this in this twenty first century, don't you think that? Because most parents will say that they that they want to give their children the best life. So does it mean that uh, um, um, this is the only way they know how to give their children the best life? Like their children um, do not have to do the house chores. The, all, all, all they want to do is come home, eat, sleep, watch cartoons and all that. Does it mean that back in the day, like our parents, mm. that they did not show us love or they did not give us the good life? No, they showed love a lot of it, even more. Mm. Because you even had time then with your kids mm. or with your parents mm. more now than now but the truth is technology okay the life is changing mm. times are changing mm. there is no way you can't start playing the parenting of yesteryears mm -hmm. playing it today mm -hmm. you can only bring in a little of her. some things like a back in the days not every family has television yeah that's true not every family in fact i don't think we even had cables mm. To start with, to check the cartoons. Mm. In those days, if you try to have um, television, mm. some black and white, mm. even out in fact, <laughs> in some homes, they will cover no, it. Cover you don't it. touch it <laughs> you until not. daddy is at home mm. to mm. own the television. Mm. Mm. So, but these days, a child of nine will handle the remote. You, and begin you can't even change. be watching something and then the child and, will just and come they and say they want cartoons. Ah, you don't have they, a choice. They, they <laughs> so, it's technology, but yeah. it's for us to be careful. Mm. Don't allow technology to spoil or kill the good morals that's true there are good morals you can't call them a cake you can't call them old yeah so now as a parent mm. you make sure that you teach your girl child your boy child mm. the kitchen okay the good morals mm. how to you know behave and sometimes you don't give them everything mm -hmm. they request they want you don't give them everything mm. sometimes you could bring back that uh, no choice of the yesteryears Anyway, this is what is in the house. Mm -hmm. You eat it. If you don't want to eat it, then forget. Mm -hmm. You are not hungry. When you are hungry, you will come back to it. Okay. That's another way. Okay. So, um, um, for for the for the boy child, we know that in those days, they they, um, they they do not permit boy children to go to the kitchen to cook. They say it is a woman's work. Mm -hmm. Now, um, um, do you think it is it is right? Because you have a son. Does your son cook? Do you let your son do um, uh, um, some things in the kitchen? Yes. I try to like something happened yesterday. My daughter was angry. Huh? Um, I washed plates the day before yesterday and he promised he will wash today. Mm -hmm. I now called two of them. I started, mm -hmm. you know, talking to them. That see, you're a girl. Mm -hmm. Fine. Why is it saying that the onions is much on the, on the girl. girl child mm. is because the girl is going to get married tomorrow mm -hmm. and if you're fortunate enough to marry a well-to-do man who chases money mm. and sees the money he can decide that you're not going to work yeah you're not going to do anything mm. stay home and take care of my home mm -hmm. what are you going to do mm -hmm. you have to stay at home and take care of the home mm. if the man doesn't want you to work <laughs> what do you do nothing if the man feels that i can take care of it all though is a topic of its own that yeah. is it uh, proper or not mm. but the truth is the man can decide to take care of everything mm -hmm. and say see it and pays you even salary of course yeah so what are you going to do but a woman may not have that opportunity to say a man sit at home i pay your try i pay your salary <laughs> let me take care of you let mm -hmm. me go and work mm -hmm. it's awkward 
is not really normal. Mm -hmm. So I was telling them that, yes, a man, you have to also go to the kitchen. Yeah. But I tried to tell the girl more. Please do it more. Mm -hmm. Not like the boy child. What about a woman that had only male children? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. If you don't have a female child, what are you gonna if you don't have a girl child, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Your boy should work like the girls. Yeah. So it's everybody's responsibility mm -hmm. to do the kitchen work. It's just that in, in our society today, mm -hmm. you know, our society, our tradition is different from the different, Western. Of course, yeah. Uh, in mm -hmm. our society today, you see a man and a woman coming back from a same function, mm -hmm. and the woman will go straight to the kitchen, mm -hmm. and the man will go straight to the, to the bedroom or, to the, the, or to the living room mm -hmm. and cross his legs <laughs> and wait for the same woman that, mm -hmm. that both of you. That's true. Comes in together. Mm -hmm. I mean, they came in together. Mm -hmm. The woman will still rush to the kitchen to begin to prepare food. Mm -hmm. She doesn't see it as anything because she faces her responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. in the Western world, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. The two of you can come in and they say, okay, the woman can even relax. The man we'll goes into the kitchen. Or they can even branch off mm -hmm. to the Somewhere eatery to and eat. they, you know, mm -hmm. take something and they come home, mm -hmm. take a shower and everybody mm -hmm. calls it a day. Mm -hmm. So it's not really like it's the girl child that should do. Mm. The boy should also do. Mm -hmm. What happens, okay, when your uh, a man is married and your, your wife is pregnant or your wife puts to bed, mm -hmm. if you don't know, virtually like me, the first pepper soup I take always comes from my husband. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So if you don't know how to do those stuff mm -hmm. and the woman is in a position she can't do it, as a boy, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. So it's good for a boy child, a girl child, both of them to learn how to Mm. do the house chores mm -hmm. learn how to go to the kitchen though you know sometimes some women will say they don't like men that knows how to cook mm. that sometimes if a man knows how to cook you as a woman you don't have anything to to brag about to brag about <laughs> to do shakara for him mm. If you say some men, when you say because we have, we are quarreling, I will not go to the kitchen. They will enter kitchen. Mm. Cook and bring for you. Say, honey, the food is ready. <laughs> so all your shakara is, mm. you are just like, mm. what can I do to, to you know, mm. show this man mm. that I am or at least the woman of the house. Mm. So it is good for everybody to know how to do a lot of housework. Mm. Awesome. Mm. It's very, very good. It's not only for the man or the girl child or the boy child is a responsibility for both okay so now we know that recently um there have been there have been so many crimes and then they say that it is the children simply because they, they, they do not have proper upbringing and now the question is how do you instill moral values on your children how do you train them to the point that you know that okay my son isn't going to be a cultist okay. or my daughter isn't going to be seen on the streets or something how do you instill moral values on your children okay um even the bible says in proverbs 22 6, six. it says train up a child mm. in the way he should grow. grow so that when he or she grows he, he or she will depart. not depart from it mm. Foundation matters mm. from the beginning. What you want to see in a child, mm. start it today. Don't spare the rod. Mm. Because if you spare the rod, you will spoil it's your not. child. Over pampering is not gameful. Mm. Over pampering. From day one, tell a child. Discussion is not bullying. I don't I don't advise bullying. In parenting mm. because if you keep bullying the child will get used to beating or bullying it's after all now beating my father mm. my daddy will beat me nothing no discussion mm. when they are up to the age of discussion in fact even a child of two years years yeah he or she sees mm. even when they're in the womb that's why sometimes say you speak to your speak child to your child yeah they will hear so you begin like my pastor will always say that that the child started paying tight from the womb <laughs> that anybody that gives money for the child mm. or when the child was like a month or two months hey thank you they will remove tights for the child so there is a moral you instigate it you begin you start from the primary mm. aspect of it foundational it's very important mm. you have enough time with your child mm -hmm. that is why i said i'm against but in school, but in school mm. mostly at a very early stage mm. because there is uh, the stages that you take care of your child mm. you know what that child is doing even as a guardian you begin you speak you discuss mm. you correct in love mm. when a child is doing something wrong 
If you need to spank, you spank. You spank at that stage. If you need spanking, you spank a child on that particular spot. Because if you don't do it, like some parenting and the uh, old, they will keep spanking until maybe when you're sleeping, middle of the night, they will come and wake you up and flog you. Oh so that is for what you did. <laughs> <laughs> but that did that to me one time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you swear that. They, they will keep it. Mm. They will keep the punishment. <laughs> In the midnight, they will wake you up. Mm. Say for mm. breaking the pot. Mm. They flog you. Mm. The child may not even know why. He or she may not feel the impact of why mm. you flogged. Mm. But on that spot, you correct the child. Mm. If you want to spank, you spank. Then at a particular age, they are up to this discussion, discussion age. Stage. age yeah. You bring the child, you tell the child, look at what is happening. Mm. Look at what is going on. If this happens, this will be the end of it. Mm. If you have some personal experiences, you share with the child. Mm. See, if I had listened, mm -hmm. if I had done this, mm -hmm. this wouldn't have been the way it is. Mm. Or this is in the, in the case of maybe a middle class family. But if it's like a first class family, that the money is there. Mm. You also call the child. You talk to the child. This is not done. This is not done. You instigate morals. Mm. You tell them those things you want to see. Mm -hmm. You don't start when the child is 18. Okay. You start telling a girl child, don't go, why are you, when the child has already started sleeping out. Mm. That is when you want to. You try to guide against speaking, trying to correct the child when is university level. No, now. The child is already exposed. You know what, we're going to, we're going to continue this conversation. Let's go on this very quick break. I'll be right back. I'm Tanala and I'm a mother, a barber, a hairstylist, a model and I also enjoy doing outdoor activities such as golfing, hunting. I spend a lot of time with my horses outside of the city um, as well as when I am in the city I'm always doing other things like activities with my daughter and I enjoy watching King's Prime TV because it has so many ways that I can use on my devices. I can use it on my laptop, I can use it on my cell phone, I can use it on my TV, I can use it on a tablet. My daughter can use it while we're driving. It's just so diverse and I enjoy using it because it inspires me as an Aboriginal person uh, to have that kind of aspect in our culture. King's Prime TV just inspires me, I'm just intrigued. In Africa and beyond, more and more people are finding King's Prime TV a rich hub for entertainment. With a monthly subscription fee as low as 500 Nigerian Naira or 3000 Naira annually, you too can enjoy seamless world-class HD entertainment that will inform, educate, entertain and enthrall you. Join us today. Visit www.kingsprimetv.com to enter into a whole new dimension of entertainment. King's Prime TV. Entertainment just the way you like it. Welcome back. So we have been talking about parenting in the 21st century. And I have been talking with Happiness Oge Lawrence. I'm really enjoying this conversation. So uh, we're talking about instilling moral values. And then let's talk about the girl child. At what age should you start talking to the girl child about puberty, about um, um, keeping um, um, opposite sex relationships and, and all of that? At what age? My dear, uh -huh. If the child can even hear at zero, you start saying it. I'm telling you, you start saying it because yeah. you don't start saying something when the milk is, you know, spilled mm, already. Mm -hmm. And these days, they have rapid growth. Of course, yes. They have rapid mm. growth. If you think those things, you think a child does not know. Mm. A child knows. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, sometimes mm -hmm. if you're watching um, a movie with your child, that maybe you least expected that this movie could come up with kissing. Mm. And you see kissing. Sometimes you see the child. <laughs> They will throw, you know, mm -hmm. take mm -hmm. off their eyes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will look at them. Why are you taking off your mm -hmm. eyes? <laughs> they want to do bad things. Are you serious? <laughs> they want to do bad things. Mm -hmm. And maybe the child is five years. Mm -hmm. Or the child is ten years. Mm -hmm. And in your mind, you said that, no, how can I start mm -hmm. telling him or her, mm -hmm. about, or her mm -hmm. the girl child, mm -hmm. about uh, puberty, about this? No. You keep, in fact, from three, from four, from five, you keep letting them know mm -hmm. the private parts. Yeah. And who and who should touch mm -hmm. and who shouldn't touch mm -hmm. and what they should do when anyone touches. You keep telling them 
at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh -huh. Even if you don't tell them, they are peer groups. Of course. They are friends uh -huh. at school. Uh -huh. We'll begin, you know, in school, school is where, that is why, sometimes it says civilization, let it start from home. Mm. I, I love the home than the school. Because in school, you tend to meet different characters. Different people, yeah. You see people, their parents have trained well. You see people, their parents didn't train well. Mm -hmm. All of them will come together in the same school. Mm -hmm. And they begin to exhibit their characters. Mm -hmm. They begin to exhibit their characters. Like one of my friends told me, he said, the daughter, where the school, the daughter, where the daughter schools i won't call the school mm. but there he said if if things fall off from their balcony or something that they don't pick it that the daughter wanted to pick one day like your own days and they say why why do you want to pick that that can't your parents afford it hmm. and the child say oh my parents can afford it that's and unnecessary child, pressure right and now the child refused to pick those things and he said when they had a um, is it a PTA meeting mm -hmm. parents teachers association meeting he said the parents started complaining that they can't find the towels that they give the child about like five towels they gave the child like 12 set of uh, on this they can't find anyone the child they didn't come back with anyone he said what happened he said the teachers went and brought out thousands of the on this and towels and say parents come and select yours he said that's what the children then when you go to the back on you pack a lot as soon as anyone drops he said don't pick it can't your parents afford it hmm. peer group so you are going wow. to meet a lot of people out, out there, there yes who they are going to influence you mm. so you talk about it you start talking about it mm. from three from four but it is in stages yeah. you know when there are three years Four years, five years, maybe you don't start talking up too much about sex. Mm. You start teaching them their private parts. Why people should not touch it. Mm -hmm. Why people should not touch their private parts. All mm. those places that need to be covered. The breasts, the, you know, the private parts. Mm. All of that, a lot of them, you start telling them the dangers. Mm -hmm. You tell them with examples. That look at when anybody begins to touch them at this age. Look at what is going to happen. Mm. When you ask them, what do they want to be in the future? I want to be a medical doctor. You said, okay, there is one thing that can stop you from being a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Is when you drop out of school, mm -hmm. early stage in life. Yeah. And what could make you drop out of school? This is one of them. If mm -hmm. you allow people to begin to touch the places they're not supposed to touch. Mm -hmm. And you tell them what to do whenever an elder touches. So you begin, if they don't know, if you allow them to hear from outside, mm -hmm. then they are bound to take what they've been told yeah. out there. They're about to, even, do you know a child can even come and say, eh, eh, somebody, is good when they touch your breast, it's he, he, sweet. Yes, yes. By then, that one will stuck in mm, her memory. Mm. And she will keep it. And whatever you're saying from 12, 13, 14, 15, when you think she's up to the age, mm. they are just, she can just be nodding her head. But mm. she has something else in mind okay. that has been built over time yeah. in her. Okay, now, so as a parent, how do you make your child have confidence, have, have the boldness to always tell you things? Yes, it's by being a friend. Oh, okay. You don't just be, even for men and women, mm. you don't be uh, 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 the lion of the tribe of the house. <laughs> Whenever you surface, uh, your surface is everybody mm. runs off, mm. goes to hide. Mm. No. As a mother or a father, mm. you bring them close. You, 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 every day when they come back from school, say, ah, what happened today? Mm -hmm. What happened? Children, you know, they can talk anything. Mm. They tell you, ah, this is my friend. Can you imagine? I enter the class and they did say, ah, why did he do that? Mm. Did you ask him? Mm. Did you ask her? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then from them, when you hear, even the ones that seems ugly in the ears, you try and, and hold you know, yourself. Hold yourself. Don't look at it like, ah, you mean? Some people they tell you, um, when John now, you know, spank my bubble, I say, hey, you flog, mm. you bully, you hit, you shout. Why will you? I told you, no. Next time she won't tell you. Yes, that's true. Very correct. Next time she won't tell you. Mm. But make him or her your friend. Mm. Try to find out. Try to find out. Moral agent, try to find out what is happening. Mm. Then you, now what do you think? Mm. Then you bring in what you think as a parent. Mm -hmm. This is what should be. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to tell them, like, when I was about traveling mm. last time, my daughter has been too close to me. Like, like if, I, if I want to travel, she will feel like crying. Oh. I'm not crying, she will cry. Mm. She will cry for days. And, you know, I complained. 
somebody actually told me, said, no, you have to talk to her. Mm. Let her have a mind of her own. Mm. Let her know that in this life, 20 friends cannot play together for 20, for 20 years. years. There, there is time for everything. Mm. There is time you may not be around. Mm -hmm. You're going for a business trip. Mm -hmm. Even there is a time also. One day now, she went for uh, on a holiday. And I said, eh, it's you that is traveling now. Mm -hmm. I think I need to start crying. I said, mm -hmm. no, mommy, why would you cry? Are you not a big girl? I said, eh. <laughs> now, you see, mm -hmm. that thing works. Mm -hmm. What the person told me works. I had a discussion with her. Mm -hmm. And you said, I said, no, mommy, I won't cry. I'm a big girl now. Mm -hmm. I know you're going for something nice. Mm -hmm. And thank God for the technology, GSM. Mm -hmm. You can always, always uh, you know, speak with them and instigate, you know, this confidence. Then always let them understand that they don't have to always take the decisions from people that is that, that is they don't that have to thing. always take opinions from people mm. that's w what matters is what they think they should have a mind of is, their they own they should have a mind of their own they should not always do what someone else is doing mm -hmm. you see a lot of kids they want to do even in hair they want to cut the same hairstyle that this person has cut they want to do it they want to do this because this person is doing it no you start on time telling them that no they should have a mind of their own yeah. they should take decisions that is why it's important for you to spend time if you don't spend time with them you know this brain is like empty page mm. on every day like the, the paper you're having when you you've written something mm. what you've written except is torn except this book is stolen it may be there for the next 20, 40, 50 years mm -hmm. if you keep it well. So when you, 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 you flip a page of a child's brain, you write something. Mm -hmm. It sticks. Mm -hmm. You flip, you write until that page is full. You turn to another page, you write, you keep writing. And another thing, the husband and the wife, we're talking about parenting. Yep. What you do matters a lot in the upbringing of a child, mm -hmm. in making the child behave have confidence in themselves mm. what you they watch you they look at you mm -hmm. what you do sometimes in your decision making they listen mm -hmm. they know how you handle things mm -hmm. they know how daddy handles issues of the house mm -hmm. they know how daddy handles issues of the mommy when it comes to mommy and they are learning often time what they see you do build a lot of confidence exactly. if a daddy is a confident person mm -hmm. the child will definitely be a confident, confident person. yes but if a mommy is not a confident you don't have a mind of your own mm -hmm. as a parent of course you can't give what you don't have mm -hmm. you give out what you have okay. if you have a mind of your own you know the right words to speak mm -hmm. to the child mm -hmm. outside praying for them you know the right words to use you don't use the ugly words if you use it if you're always covering your child if you're always pressing your child down, if you don't allow him or her to express him or herself, often time, let them express themselves. Mm. Don't always want them to be what you want them to be. Let them also have a mind of their own from the youthful stage, from the childhood stage. By then, you have won that child to have a confident mind, mm. to have a decision of their own. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, um, in, you know, earlier on, you quoted a, um, a scripture. You say, yes. um, the Proverbs 22, Proverbs 22, 22 train up a child 22, in the way he should go. And when yeah. he is old, he will not depart, will not depart from, from it. it yeah. Good. Now, there are, there are situations where you can train your child very well, instill very good moral values on your child. But when this, when, when this child, for instance, when this child goes to the university, this child can meet people okay. can meet friends and then they change the child's orientation they change the child's way of thinking now that's where peer pressure comes in mm -hmm. so how do you train your child from an early stage to to know that see you should have a mind of your own how do you shield your child from peer pressure from an uh, from an early stage so that when that child grows up into um, being an adult, an adult the child will still have his or her ground yes I've said it over time, if you do your part well mm. from the primary aspect, mm. I told you, I said foundation is very important. Mm -hmm. See, if the foundation is broken, if it's damaged, if it's destroyed, mm. what can you do? Nothing. There is nothing. Eh? When things fall apart, mm. the center cannot, cannot hold. hold. That is why you have to. 
If you watch some movies today, you see where parents, both parents are working, mm. making money. Mm -hmm. And the house girl and boy, are, they are busy mm -hmm. training the child. Mm -hmm. And when the parents will realize that they've made a lot of mistakes, mm. will be when the child is already an arm robber or is already a prostitute. Mm -hmm. You see the parents, they will go and resign. Mm -hmm. It's point is point. You're gonna, not going to do anything about mm -hmm. it. So if you do your job well from the foundational aspect, mm -hmm. the pressure, the peer pressures will come. There's no way it won't come. To come yeah. But if you had done your job well, mm -hmm. that child has a more ability mm -hmm. to overcome. Okay. The pressure group, group could, may want to mm -hmm. envelop the child. Mm -hmm. But if the child remembers where he or she it's is coming, coming from. from. Mm -hmm. He's always good. He's always in a better position too. And if you have built a wonderful relationship from the beginning, the friendly relationship, she will always or he will always come back to tell you, this is what is happening mm. at the university. Yeah, that's so, you so. know, parenting don't stop. Parenting does not end. Mm -hmm. You keep parenting. Mm -hmm. Even as you are, you're still being parented. Of course. <laughs> you're still being, that is why... You're married, mm -hmm. your mother-in-law will still come to tell your husband mm -hmm. things about you. Mm -hmm. Your own mother will still come <laughs> to tell you on mm -hmm. how to handle mm -hmm. issues. They are still parenting you. Even when your parents are dead, mm -hmm. you, you, you will somehow, somehow, one guardian will spring up from somewhere <laughs> and begin to parent you, yeah. parent you yeah. and begin to care. Mm -hmm. So you still keep talking. Okay. It doesn't end. Okay. Wisdom is, is, is in stages. Mm -hmm. is, is, it doesn't end. You, okay. you, you, you don't get to a point you said, I've learned el enough. Mm, mm, no. Mm. You don't get to a point you say, I have wisdom of all. Mm. I can do everything. Okay. You keep talking. Okay. Even at the university. Mm. Even as they're meeting their peer groups. Mm. You still keep talking. Okay. You still keep directing okay. them. Even if they want to fall off, it won't be too bad. Okay. So, so, so what's, what is your final word to parents? Okay. Hmm. Parents, please. Foundation is important. Of course. Take it very serious. Mm -hmm. Please don't be too busy for your children. For your children. Children are not commodities that you purchase and you sell out. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do comes back to you. Okay. I've seen in situations where people are married and they don't know how to fry plantain. They don't know how to fry eggs. I think that, that, is, that is a conversation for another time. You see... I am definitely sure we are going to bring you back to continue this conversation. We haven't exhausted it. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Hey, we have Thank been talking you. about parenting in the 21st century. And I have been talking with Happiness Oge Lawrence. You will agree with me that she really, really shattered this table today. Okay. Now, um, um, for you out there, you can join in the conversation by sending in your comments. I really, 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 really want to hear from you. You can subscribe, follow us on all our social media platforms displayed on the screen. And do not forget to download our King's Prime TV app. Just all you have to do is go to the Google Play Store or go to your iOS store and download our app. And voila! <laughs> Welcome to the world of King's Prime TV. Until next time, I am Joy Dixon. It's bye.